Hello everyone. OpenAI released new version of the ChatGPT, which is now GPT for all. And because of that, I again uh, activated my monthly subscri subscription on ChatGPT to test it and to test it against the dedicated GPTs from SciSpace. And SciSpace's GPT is trained based on the on the data of the SciSpace and it is one of the reliable ones and now trending on the GPT store. Basically, if you have monthly subscription on ChatGPT, you will have access to the latest and most advanced model, as well as many GPTs, including the one from SciSpace on the GPT store. Today, I will ask them very simple prompt. I will give them very simple prompt and compare the results. Usually, ChatGPT hallucinates a lot and gives fabricated non-existing articles. So I don't use ChatGPT for finding sources, but dedicated sources like SciSpace can give you articles, the real sources. So let us start doing this test. This is the short prompt that I have for both tools. On left hand side, it is just the usual chat GPT without any GPT, without any customized prompting, mega prompt or anything. And on this side, you will see the GPT from SciSpace. I hit enter and let us see what results they give me. As you can see, the chat GPT, the GPT 4O is very fast and already gave me the table and and by the way, maybe I, can, I have to read the question, the prompt, while the SciSpace GPT is preparing its answer. So basically, I asked, give me the five, the list of five articles published after 2015 on the impact of climate change on human mobility. Put the results on a neatly organized table. Do your best since it is vital for my academic project. So here, as you can see, the GPT from SciSpace usually give the nice sources. This is just, I asked this question for, for the sake of testing. You should ask your own question. By the way, I will drop this prompt in the description of this video. You can change, you can modify this prompt and you can use as per your wish. But this result seems very nice um, and clickable link we have here. But ChatGPT, since I didn't ask it, didn't give me the clickable links. I can check one of the articles if it is real or not. Let us do that. As you can see here, it is real article. So the, the new version of the ChatGPT is doing really good by find, for finding sources, the previous one was hallucinating a lot, but the new one is doing better job, I believe. So this is basically the comparison I did. If you want, you can also do your own, but as I said, for, for doing this, you should have the plus subscription on ChatGPT to access to this latest model and also the GPT from SciSpace. I made a lot of tutorials on SciSpace. I will drop the link to those specific uh, tutorials on, on academic literature review in the description of this video. Please check the description. What do you think? Do you think that the chat GPT is doing better now? And if you like this video, please hit like button. And if you want to support my channel and to see more videos from, from me, from myself in the future, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for your time.